this is going to be kind of a ghetto video. I just picked up these Knicks. So I've been looking at Knicks boots for a few years and just couldn't quite pull the trigger. I was concerned about the sizing and I kind of just didn't, their cost, you know, with the, unsure, the I guess, uneasiness of the sizing kind of kept me nervous about it and not pulling the trigger. I uh, read a lot, you know, on forums and watching YouTube videos about sizing, different people's opinion of it. Kind of had a general idea of what my correct size would be, but again, wasn't certain of it. So I kind of kept being nervous and not wanting to go through the hassle. I can't go and try them on in person. I don't live in, uh, in uh, Washington, so I'm down in California. So anyway, I kind of have kind of held off and then you know as the last few years they've gotten really popular i thought that they they were two years ago too but really popular now the backlogs are really extreme and now it's you know six plus months waiting after you put in an order so that kind of made me even less kind of curious to try it and you can see the nyx logo right there i uh started watching the, what do they call the ready to ship section of their site, which is, you know, I don't know if it's people returned a shoe, didn't, a boot, it didn't fit, or canceled their order after production had been done. Oh, you can see the size right there. These are, if you can focus in on that, they're 11E. I'm normally, uh, my foot's 11 and a half D on a Brannock, but with boots, I'm often 11, sometimes 11 and a half, and I even have a pair of boots that I needed a 12. Uh, sneakers, I usually wear 12. But from what I basically read, I'd probably be, you know, safe doing kind of the typical, like you do with Red Wing, going down to a, an 11D, just a half size down. But this boot is called the Prospector. And supposedly this boot, or maybe it's the 1160, 11067 last, uh, runs narrow, I think, or it's this particular shoe, this boot makeup, I should say. People are saying they're kind of tight. <clears throat> I recently bought some uh, Red Wing 875s, which is the same deal. People said it's a really tight uh, mock toe boot. So I went with the 11 E on that, and it's actually snug, but it fits. So I thought, well, maybe an 11D uh, would be too tight in these, so I need 11E. Kept checking. Like I said, those uh, ready-to-ship page, and then one day I see these. And... Not only is obviously it's an 11, uh, it's our prospector, which I, I liked, in an 11E, which is the size I believe I'm, I need in this boot. It's in a leather I was really interested. This is called Natural Dublin. It has a really nice pull up, which is a really nice kind of tan brown. It's light, but it's not like as light as a tan, and it will get darker over time. And. That's the color I kind of wanted, and I wanted a natural sole, but this is even more bonus. This is a full leather sole, so you never see this. They offer this, and if you look at their configure, like the configurator, their configuration options for their boots, you can pay, I think it's $30 more to get a leather sole. Sort of like you can pay 30 more, I think also for like the cowboy sole with a cowboy heel. Uh, people don't usually get this. You always see them with the V100 black Vibram rubber or the, the uh, what do they call it? The honey Vibram, which I really like the honey Vibram. It's like a kind of a tan, uh, tan rubber. I have a pair of boots that I had resold by a cobbler Wolverines with kind of a tan half, half sole of Vibram. And it's kind of similar to that. But this makeup just like blew my mind. It's like, whoa, it's like a tan, nice boot in the kind of the prospector look right size and it's a leather sole like I'm like I gotta just do it and you know I think Nick's they say if you send it back on Warren they'll give you a refund or you can do exchange, one exchange so I'm like well worst case if they really don't fit good I'll just return them but they fit great uh, the, my right foot I'm starting to think has a slightly fatter circumference because after having some little bit of pain breaking in those uh, Red Wing 875s I uh, after breaking those in, I was noticing all my boots, my right boot feels a little bit more snug, so I think I should just measure with some tailor tape. I think that that foot's slightly bigger circumference. But the with the width this good, there's toe rum with the kind of the, what they call the bump toe or whatever, the sprung toe, sorry, that's what the Knicks calls that, a sprung toe. Uh, 
it has a lot of there's a you know a good amount of wiggle room for your toes the width is good the length's definitely good I, they're not too long at all but they're not like too short like with the red wing 11 double e 875s they're almost like they might be too short and my newer wolverine thousand miles from like 2018 one of the pairs i got the evans boot in 11 and a half because they said it's true to size and it's a good fit whereas i got another original uh 100 or went the uh, red wing 1000 or it's uh, wolverine 1000 original makeup and a suede and i got them 11 and they're tight but suede the suede's really soft so it kind of doesn't matter so the size on these perfect the only thing that's weird is i'm not used to this huge you know it has a really hardcore uh arch that's just like typical of this 11067 last and the 55 last with all these pacific northwest boots so i'm getting used to that but it's kind of expected it's not horrific it just feels different it's a little bit of pain i think for the first few days we'll see but i think i'm going to keep them i haven't worn them off the carpet yet but i'm pretty sure they're going to be keepers uh, it's kind of interesting in the makeup i don't have any other boots like this where you have the what they call a false tongue or kilty and then they have this kind of soft tongue that you fold behind it that's different the lace is a little weird one of the set like there's two pairs you know one for, sorry one pair two different laces one of them it's really thick all the way through the whole thing whereas the other one it's like thin and in one area it's fatter so i don't know i have some nice laces for another company i might swap into these or maybe email nicks i've heard they'll send you another set if you kind of have some issues but they're really cool it's funny too, like I was kind of annoyed with some of the issues with symmetry and stuff with Red, with Red Wing, with those 875s I got. And honestly, you know, these boots have little, you know, nicks and dings and stuff. There's a, this heel had a little spot, but like, I don't know. And there was a, one of, one of the, is it this one? Let me see, yeah, right there, you can see it in the light. Like, there's some little nicks in them when I pull them out of the box. That little spot where it chipped, kind of chipped part of the the sole. But, like, I don't really care because, like, overall the quality is just incredible. The one bigger annoyance was up here on the rolled, the rolled top. Sorry. If you look at the top of the rolled top, there was, like, a little tear in the leather and kind of a gouge right there. But, you know, it's not going to matter. And, it, like, it's minimal considering how nice these are. So yeah, uh, really impressed. Glad I finally pulled the trigger. Uh, I can probably see myself getting another set, another pair, not this, you know, like a different makeup, something with a rubber sole. Whether I do another high last, like probably not a 67, because I already have this, maybe the 55. I was thinking really the HNW, which is the kind of more moderate normal last, like you see on, you know, typical boots like Wolverine or Red Wing, kind of a more normal lower heel. Haven't decided yet. I like the Overlander, kind of thought about that in a brown leather, darker than this with the uh, with HNW last. You get a couple stickers in the box. It's kind of cool. What does that say? Handmade boots. Thought it might say Spokane, Washington. That's where they're made. But yeah, really cool. The smell doesn't come through on camera, but oh my god. When I open the box, like they just smell phenomenal. Such an emit like the leather smell is just incredible. You know, I have other boots and shoes that have a nice smell to them, especially like when you get the what is it, the Hor Horween uh Chromexel, Chromexel. That stuff smells good, but this is like a completely different world. This leather smells incredible. You put your feet in them and they kind of warm up. And I was working and just smelling the leather. And yeah, really, really impressed, really happy. Definitely see myself being a future customer again, even despite the, the high cost. I think it's worth it. I watch their videos on YouTube and the craftsmanship is incredible. And it really comes through when you actually pick up their boots. I mean, they're heavy and really nice super good quality i would recommend you try them if you were looking at them they aren't disappointing me at all really happy later